We're going to do a great, super simple uh, summer dessert using some of the wonderful things at the farmer's market. This is an easy one, Tim, because I don't do a lot of baking, you know? Yeah. No baking involved at all. All right, so we're going to make a trifle, which you can do in one of those beautiful trifle bowls, or I think in the summer, especially if you're having a nice dinner party or all year round, to give everybody their own little individual d dessert. Don't you think that's a neat idea? It's nice, yeah. For presentation, things like that. I'm going to get whipping on the cream. You're dicing up some vegetables. Yep. Or vegetables. Some fruit. I've been talking about vegetables all morning. Uh, so we've got some strawberries here. Yep, we have some fresh strawberries. We have uh, fresh raspberries. Okay. Along with some fresh blueberries. The biggest and most gorgeous blueberries ever. Now I've got one pint of heavy whipping cream. And I just get that going. Yep. Now we put the bowl in the freezer and that cream is ice cold. We just took it out of the fridge and that that's, a, I know, one of the ways to get whip that cream, make it easier. Sometimes, yep. you ever had it when it just didn't whip on you, you know? Just yeah, a couple times. And there's times where I over whipped it and turned it to butter. Oh, That's, goodness. So we don't want that. No no. Happy medium. So just toss the berries together. Yep. Okay. Now I see some mascarpone cheese over there. Yeah, we're going to uh, put it in a bowl. We're going to sweeten it up with some honey. Mm. And for people who don't aren't familiar with mascarpone cheese, I know you guys use it in like your tiramisu. and. Yep, we use it uh, mainly in our tiramisu. Mm. It's a really rich, creamy, kind of like an Italian cream cheese. Yep, that's pretty much what it is. And some honey. Yep, just to sweeten up because it doesn't really have a lot of flavor to itself. And then it's, we're having our fruit dessert, so you want to sweeten it up a little bit. Mm. My cream's doing good. Should I add a little sugar? Um, right before it starts to uh, become stiff peaks. Okay, I never know when to add it, so wait for a while, huh? Yep, it takes a little while. got these gorgeous martini glasses that uh, I actually don't use much at home, so I brought them here to work, but, you know, some pretty wine glasses. Uh, you could even do these in those clear mugs. It's just fun for everyone to have yep. their own dessert. Is that looking yep. perfect? Yep. Okay, so we're going to stop it for a second. We don't let powdered sugar flying no, all over the place. So I like to eat um, powdered sugar instead of regular sugar. Why do that? Yep, just a little bit lighter, and it'll mix it easier. Okay. A little vanilla. You tell me when. You want it pretty stiff, I take pretty, it. Yeah, pretty stiff, but like I said earlier, you don't want to over whip it because then it will turn into butter. Now, while that's doing its thing, the, um, the cake part of this, tell me about that. This is just soft and lady fingers. That's good. Okay. These are just uh, softened lady fingers. You know, you can also use uh, yellow food cake, angel food cake, anything like that that you like. All right. There we go. Mm -hmm. Move that out of the way a little bit. Then we're just going to take the mascarpone okay. and fold it in. You don't want to whip it, otherwise, the air will escape and the whipped cream will fall apart. Mm. Just really, that'll make that whipped cream yeah. really, really nice and rich. So we're going to start layering in these glasses. What's normally the first layer? Usually the first layer is the whipped cream. Okay. But I mean, it's really up to you and what you want. I just want to dip my finger in there. <laughs> but I better be well behaved. I'm in the kitchen with a culinary student. Yeah. I don't want to get, you know, get a bad grade in class. Yeah, sticking your finger in the product does not do very well. <laughs> <laughs> At home, go ahead, maybe. Yeah. At home is different. Wash it real well. I'm just going to get you a spoon so we can start laying. Okay. I've used angel food cake. I've used, um, if these lady fingers, sometimes they're hard to find. Um, Crushed up biscotti works well. I mean, if you need to, use, yeah. you know, it'll soak everything in. Um, like you said, pound cake. Right. All right. A little dollop in the bottom there? Yep. Or two? Or two, or three, or <laughs> whatever you want. Next layer, what do you think? Yep. Uh, I would say that. The, the lady fingers. Yeah, and it doesn't matter. It's all going to be good once you bite into it. Oh, yeah. Berries. 
Because if you put the berries on top, the juices will go on the lady fingers, mm. and the lady fingers will be even more delicious. Mm. Maybe some more whipped cream. Mm -hmm. Just have fun with it, right? Yeah. That's the main part. Mm. We're just going to keep layering, make these look gorgeous, and then we're going to dig in and eat them. Oh, yeah. Recipes, all of them that we did today, from the, the pasta whoops, to the bruschetta to these trifle, you can find them on our website. And, uh, of course, if you're looking for great food and you don't want to cook, head to Jonathan's Bistro in Appleton. We'll be right back to finish these up, but they're looking pretty good so far. Stay with us.